Well, Zach, all season long, you've been telling me that you've been, you want a hot race, you want a rough track. I think you got your wish today. Yeah, today was really good. Um, obviously, a good day for me. Um, I felt comfortable on the track. I just feel like, especially Millville, like, was super smooth and just, that's not my style. I don't think that's, you know, really anyone's style that races this series because we don't really set up for that, you know? So, um, strange, strange day for me there, but to, to come back and go 1-1 one, one this weekend is really good. Yeah, great way to bounce back. Yeah, I mean, it was a tough weekend last weekend and lost a lot of points and just big swing in momentum. So to come here today and kind of put myself back together and, and make it happen was really good. First moto, it looked like you were being a little sneaky watching those guys duke it out. Yeah. Like they're throwing haymakers at dude, each other. they were hammering, and I was like, at one point, I'm like, dude, they're going to hit. Like, just chill, just chill. And then AC would gap it out, and then they'd get into it again, and then... You know, I knew we were pretty heavy there in the beginning, like the first 20 minutes, I knew it was pretty high pace. And uh, so I just kind of waited my time, bided my time and, you know, just kind of got into the rhythm and I was able to pass Chase and then AC and then it just, you know, it kind of panned out for me, but they were on it. You know, they, they send it their kids and they don't, they just go wide open. That's a little extra work, isn't it? Yeah. Racing, you know, each other like that. Yeah, it is. And I knew that that was gonna end up taking a toll eventually, you know, so. Um, I was just trying to stay in contact. I actually got some bad lappers at one point and lost contact and I got nervous because I was like, man, they're, you know, it's going to be hard to get back to them, but they were going back and forth so hard they were making some mistakes. So I was able to get back to the, to the toe and sit in for a little bit longer and then I was able to make my passes. And that second moto, man, coming into the last lap, Eli looked like he was sitting there and ready to give it that last charge. That was had to be a, kind of an intense lap. There. Yeah, it was intense. Um, I knew he was there. I knew he was coming the whole time. I could see him out the, you know, out some of the lanes and um, there wasn't a whole lot I could do about it. Like I wasn't smoked, but I also knew that I was pretty deep from the first moto. And then I was obviously, you know, out front for a, a while in the second moto. So um, I kind of had to save some energy and then just go at him with everything I had. And I was able to hold him off. You know, I don't know if, if I had the speed that he had there at the end, but um, it worked out. After that first moto, I was kind of scouting around. I'm seeing guys in their ice baths and, you know, buckets and, you know, yeah. all, the, all the shower stuff. You look like you're ready to go out for your next moto. Huh. I, I see you digging gear out of, underneath your bus and well, stuff. Well, it was a little bit of an illusion. I was in a, a little bit of a panic, but um, I, I mean, everybody that comes here today from not Florida, is like oh my god it's so hot and i'm like no this is like pretty nice day in florida you know like there was a point where about i don't know four weeks ago where i was like i don't know how much longer i can do this like physically i don't know how much many more times i can come out here this year and be this freaking hot you know so for me uh today wasn't that bad it's it's just kind of an average florida day um Looking at the weather we've had all season long, I guess it's nice that you, you haven't had to dig into the well. Yeah, it is nice, but at the same time, this is what I trained for, and um, days like today make make it feel worth it, you know, when, when you have that, that extra boost at the end of the moto, and that's, like, you know, what you train for, whereas last weekend, I mean, you didn't even really have to have anything because you, uh, it was pretty smooth, fast, and it was cool, so... There was no real fitness element to it. Like they were faster than me for sure last weekend, and I'm not taking anything away from anyone, but definitely it's a it's a different different outdoor series than what we've ever had. I was talking to Dylan a minute ago and talking about man, it's it's a big contrast between the conditions here and the conditions next week. Uh, next week? Yeah. I think it's going to be warm though, right? Yeah, but I I mean uh, not so much the weather, but go from sandy oh. to very hard pack yeah but but they always do a pretty good job there with the track uh getting it wet i mean i remember going there the first time uh as a kid with my dad to the drag race and he was like look there's a motocross track and i'm like i would never ride that because it was like pavement but now they've done an amazing job bringing in some good dirt and um you know it's always pretty ruddy and and rough so i look forward to it next weekend see you there yeah well, Dylan, this was, these were some conditions that we haven't seen all season long. Pretty rough and, and uh, also the heat. Ah, uh, you cannot say that. Loretalin one, number one, the first round was really hot and humid too. So, but yeah, the, the, the track was definitely difficult. Uh, without bump, this track is, uh, is difficult because of the wave section. The wave section are, are really all on the, on the body and that kill the legs. And uh, 
and uh, and yeah, with the heat, the humidity, and then the bump, it's a, it's a hard, uh, hard track to to perform. Talk about the two motos. I I think everything went pretty well for you today, and four motos straight also. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's awesome. Uh, back to back, uh, four motos wins good. It's good for the the. It's good for me. It's good for the championship. So yeah, I really stoked uh, for sure today. Uh, two good start. It helped a lot. And uh, and then yeah, I didn't really need to to put myself in the in the red zone to get back. So that helped also a lot. I the first model when I took the lead, uh, I tried to manage my energy to to save some for model two. And model two, uh, yeah, was same thing. Like when I build the gap, I just ride smooth and uh, and yeah, try to don't burn out myself. Yeah, I saw some pit boards for you. Save energy, save the legs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, in this condition, uh, that's the most important. You can win the model one and, uh, and model two. Uh, if you if you empty and you get a bad start, you, you need that energy. So yeah, it was uh, was really important today, and uh, it worked well. Do you just concentrate on the remaining four motos, or do you start looking ahead a little bit? No, no for sure. Still, uh, same thing. Uh, Try to to get the best result I can, and, and uh, we ch we check the result at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, well, four more to go. Stay focused, and, uh, and we see. What do you think of Lakewood? Uh, Lakewood uh, at this time of the year, I think uh, <laughs> it can be crazy. So I don't know. It's track. Uh, it's not my favorite track, but it's a, it's a good track. And uh, normally, my, my, my bike performs really well with the altitude, so that can be a. Uh, that can be something good for us, but we see. Yeah, to go from sandy track to very hard pack. Yeah, the, every every weekend basically it's uh, it's different. So yeah, we being um, be, be, being good at to adapt adapt the riding is something really important here. Yeah. Well, nice job out there today. Yeah, thank you. Well, Jordan, I know all, you've been working at this all season, trying to make it into the show, and transferring in might not be the way that you wanted to do it, but. What was it like being out there and, and making it into one of the motos? Definitely wasn't how I wanted to make it in, but I'm just thrilled that I got to be in a moto. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to kind of spark something in me now that I've been out there, take, make me push a, a little bit harder. We've been having some issues today, so it made that a little bit more difficult. I had to uh, roll most of the big jumps about halfway through that moto. and. Those jumps are your savior when you're out there doing a 30-minute moto. It's the only spot you get a break, and I didn't get any, so it was really tough. But it was definitely fun, and I definitely enjoyed the challenge. Yeah, when you have a riding style like I do, or it forces you to go short and t soak up all that stuff, it, it uses a lot more energy. It does. It uses a lot more than people realize. Um, of course, it wasn't a particularly easy day out there either. You, you got a good hot one. Not at all. This track is definitely one of the toughest tracks out there. This and Southwick are definitely one of the hardest sand tracks uh, that I think I've ridden in a long time. But the hot's never really bothered me too much. I definitely like uh, I definitely like riding in hot. It, I feel like it favors me more. I don't seem to get tired when everybody else does. Now that's not pro riders, so it's definitely different coming out here. They definitely, you know, they're good for the entire time, but it just makes me feel more at home. I'm from North Carolina, so it's a lot better than it was last weekend at Minnesota. Was, that was way too cold for me. On on the gate, looking around, what are, you, what are you thinking up there? Well, I didn't actually get on the gate until after the sight lap, so I didn't even get a sight lap. So it was definitely crazy and super hectic. It was definitely a last minute thing. I, I struggled in the LCQ, had once again bike issues. So I didn't finish where I would like to have. and. I just got lucky, I guess, and got that final spot into that the second main event. Yeah, it is a whole lot more beat up, I'm sure, plus not being able to see it before you went out. Yeah, it was it was very beat up, especially second moto. I was looking at lap times and stuff like that, and the leaders were 10 seconds off of what they were qualified in. So you know it's definitely rough when they drop that far off. Um, I mean, it's just... It wasn't ideal to not have a sight lap, but it's nothing like I haven't raced before. A lot of tr a lot of times you don't get a sight lap. Definitely hurt me that everybody else did, but it's all good. I wasn't too worried about it. I was just happy to be out there. Four motos left in the season. You, you going to put it in the show the, the way you want to? That's the goal. Uh, I, I feel good about today. I rode pretty well with the bike issue, so I think if I 
have a good bike and hopefully have no more freak incidents like I did today, I think I should be good. Good luck. Thank you.